The security team has decided to launch this campaign to make people aware that CERN computers are permanently under attack. Permanently, even right now. Attackers are trying to break into our web servers and computing services in order to misuse them to attack others. Successful attacks have had in the past and can happen in the future have negative impact on CERN's reputation. On our computing clusters, those ones which are facing the internet, we see permanently attackers probing those servers. So if you're asking how many attacks are there per day, per hour, there are thousands. They're probing permanently. Our web servers are probed permanently. They're looking for vulnerabilities in our web server, websites. If you look on our websites, we are hosting something like 10,000 websites centrally, plus several hundreds more locally, like in the LHC experiment, or like for the grid, or like Indico. Very, very infrequently do they have success, but still the probes are there. The system needs to be secured properly to resist those attacks. The users at CERN are part of the academic environment, which means there's something like an academic freedom. At CERN, our users can choose which computing hardware they want to use, which laptop, Mac, PC, Windows, Linux. They can choose which operating system to run, which application to install, which programming language to program in, and uh, which data to store. Academic freedom is a valuable thing, but like any kind of freedom, it comes with responsibility. Here at CERN and in the Global Particle Physics community as a whole, we enjoy an open academic environment which gives us freedom, freedom of choice and freedom of expression. It is a strong tradition at CERN, but it's not something we can ever take for granted. This is particularly true in the area of IT, where our openness and in particular also our global visibility make us an attractive target. Successful attacks on CERN-associated IT infrastructure in the past have had a negative impact on our reputation and have even led to changes in the way we operate and have to operate computing services. The users at CERN are an essential partner of securing the site. And this is why at CERN, security is not complete without you. It is the responsibility of all of us, not just the experts in the IT department, to protect our IT infrastructure while striking the right balance between security academic freedom and the unfettered operation of our facilities. Everyone using CERN's IT infrastructure is responsible for the security and protection of the computers they use, the operating systems they run, the applications they install, the programs they write and the data that they store. For those of us who manage computing services and systems, that responsibility clearly extends to those as well. We will start our security campaign with a dedicated Computer Security Awareness Day being held on the 10th of June in the Council Chamber starting from 9.30. This particular day is intended for CERN users. We will have presentations, for example, on what are the threats at CERN, what are the attacks we had in the past, how can you securely browse and email, how are attackers trying to harvest your credentials, how do they try to make money, and more technically, how can you secure your services? How can you secure your service? We will have uh, everything webcasted, so um, people can also watch this later on from the web. In assuming your responsibility, you are certainly not alone. The IT department's computer security team is there to help you. We all have an essential role to play in protecting our academic freedom. Maintaining vigilance when using IT facilities is an essential part of that responsibility and I trust in you that you help us.